We have a new scholarship. This is the first time that this scholarship is being given out. And before I bring Raj up, I'd like to read a little bit about his uncle, which is what the scholarship is supposed to celebrate. So, as you can all see up there, Colonel Pachuk Memorial Project honors the life, service, contribution, sacrifices, and the memory of Colonel Pachuk Mayor as a military man, family man, businessman, and community man. The initiative is overseen and governed by Colonel Pachuk Mayor Memorial Trust and his family. The project's goal is to reward deserving characters for their loyalty uh, throughout their journey in their respective communities through various mediums and opportunities. The primary goal is not only to provide financial assistance, but to develop mentorship, set resources, and inspiration to become a sustainable leader to carry forth the missions of the project and society at large. The scholarship, as one medium of this project, consortium is granted to two deserving cadets and members of the NZROTC program, or I'm sorry, of any ZROTC program. This junior and senior high school student must be pursuing a two or four year degree or certification in the medical field and public or military service. This scholarship is awarded to a student who exemplifies the necessary loyalty and passion to better a community while promoting and advocating freedom and liberty for future generations. Recipients must volunteer for at least one documented medical, public service, or military veteran service project within the community under the guidance of the Nair family. Additionally, recipients will pay forward or give back to their school and community through pre-planned and approved mentorships, uh, submit uh, the below personal statements, and be interviewed by the selection committee composed of a U.S. congressman, physician, family member, and scholarship recipient. The scholarship and project will create opportunities for internships, future funding, employment, and instrumental networking. Today's time is often filled with uncertainty, disloyalty, and ill will, and Colonel Achuk Mary wishes to change that vision for the future. He has always embodied the spirit of goodwill, dedication, fortitude, and loyalty above all else and wishes to groom such candidates for the times ahead. He sends his salutations, respect, gratitude, and famous boisterous laughter to fill the room. On that note, please welcome his nephew, Dr. Raj Mayer. <laughs> One day, the angels assembled in the boardroom of God and began to ask, God, why is it you favor the humans more than us? Hmm, God responded. Are we not your children too? The angel spoke. Yes, my child. I shall host a grandiose tournament in your honor. The first of you to encircle the world seven times shall forever be given my undying love and respect. And in that moment, the angels of the skies soared through the clouds. The angels of the earth trekked across the sands. And the angels of the ocean splashed about the waters, each in their great chariots encircling the world. But there, sitting quietly in that distant corner of the boardroom of God, was a young, inexperienced angel. She came to her feet, and she too began her circles. One, and two, 
and three, and six, and seven. She encircled her parents. She encircled her village. She encircled her world. Why is it, my friends, I've chosen to share this tale with you today? Yes, it's the tale of how it takes a village to raise a child. Yes, it's the tale of how the military raises us and protects us. But more than any of that, it is a tale to show how interdependent humanity is to one another more than ever with this great pandemic before us. We have seen innumerable suffering throughout the globe, yet we've seen grand humanitarian gestures equally, have we not? We have seen how fragile, how small the human species is, yet we've seen that stalwart fortitude, that resolve, that evolutionary strive to survive. We have found who are our friends, and we have found those who are disloyal. I've seen it in my own family, along with the beauty of its love. We're in a game. We're in a game. We run and we run and we chase and we chase every day after our coffee and our social media and our work and our laptops and our cars and our status, our things. We keep chasing after our things. We gotta have that Starbucks grande macchiato with two espresso shots and that creamy frothy top, shaken not stirred like a James Bond movie. We gotta know the latest booty shaking move on TikTok, right? Yeah, that's all of us. We gotta have that juicery, artery filling super burger with a side of that ironic Diet Coke. We want the latest smartphones, we want the latest automobiles, we want the latest vacation experiences, again and again and again. Not ever realizing we can't take it with us. Now can we? We have what I call American Dreamitis. Yes, American Dreamitis. We have lost many a great soul in this pandemic and in the military. And we are afforded an opportunity to take each person's story and make it our own for but at least a moment. So what would those great souls tell us now who are not with us? What would they whisper in our ears as our lessons? So, I'm always reminded by these great words. As long as you whisper their names, they shall never be forgotten. So today, we are gathered here to celebrate the life and legacy of a family man, a community man, a businessman, and above all else, a serviceman. Our family and my uncle, Colonel Ashok Nayer who sadly and recently passed in this pandemic. I'm so dearly reminded of my uncle day in and day out, and especially during Memorial Day and Veterans Day, I always celebrated him more and thanked him for his sacrifices. And I always was so proud and so moved to have such a dynamic character in our bloodline, the ramble of the family. We would say, that guy's with us, he's with me. And he too would remember me and celebrate Doctor's Day and give thanks. And I would laugh and laugh at him, telling him, unbelievable. Our training is nothing like that that has been bestowed upon you and other such servicemen and women of such great distinction. We're no one next to you. And I've seen, I've had the good fortune of working with veteran patients for some time. And I see how courageous they are. They have given of their mind and their body and their limbs and their sanity and their lifestyle, their soul. For who? Us. 
you and me. We need to do better by them and for them in action, not just words. We have a responsibility to honor and commemorate them humbly before God. Do we not? And I sometimes even look back upon my own life and I ask myself, I feel a little guilty actually, because I didn't serve. I didn't have that strength like my uncle and so many other service men and women. But I've had some difficulties in my life, battle scars like each and every one of you. I've had a great crucible tragedy that is forever seared in my DNA like no other that has taken me to those dark, dark moments. But it's because of his iconic spirit, it has brought me into the light. He has given me that strength, that will, that fire in the belly to steady on, to soldier on like no other. And I am forever grateful to him as a result. He has given me purpose, meaning in all that I do. We love him. We miss him. And today, we are honored and blessed through his beloved wife, Renu, and his sons, Siddharth and Aditya, and all the grandchildren, and his three brothers, and our family, and our community, to be able to build something in his momentous legacy, to celebrate his family life, his decorated career in the Indian Army, and his care for America. So I'm proud as a representative to unveil the Colonel Ashok Nayer Memorial Project, an initiative by all of us to honor loyalty above all else. Loyalty. As well as an initiative to support military servicemen and women in different phases of their life, whether it's that young and up and coming serviceman or woman, or it's that service personnel who has now retired in civilian life. The intent of the project is to dispense scholarships along with other resources. The cadet scholarship today is here not only to provide financial support, but to give fellowship and mentorship and internships and employment to so many of these young minds to help create and groom that great leader for tomorrow's society. So as we've taken a moment as a family and a community to miss and, and cry for my uncle, I sometimes ask myself, what would the great Colonel Ashok Mayer share with us in his wisdom today? What would he whisper in our ears? He might say, Raj, we only have so many visits. We only have so many words. We only have so many moments. Time is precious. Tomorrow is not promised. Surround your dear ones in action, not just words. And it makes me reflect. Why is it we hold these grudges and this selfishness? Who cares whose fault it is anyway? Isn't it time we pick up the phone and call that long lost friend or relative? You know, sometimes we should give the shirt off of our back to a stranger. And you know what? That $17 Starbucks coffee we all so treasure, pass it on to someone else. It ain't good for you anyway. So, Uncle Ashok would tell us now, he would want us to band together. He would want us to begin our circles. One, and two, and six, and seven. And he would kindly ask us to come together and rewrite the history books of humankind in the boardroom of God once and for all. Colonel Ashok, we salute you, we thank you, we love you. I miss you, my friend. 
we bow to the good in you. Namaste. So the Colonel Ashok Nayer Memorial Scholarship as part of the Nayer project is to celebrate through a $1,001 scholarship, a junior and senior cadet high schooler at this institution. And I have the kind honor and blessing to not only to spend some time with them, but to introduce them to each and every one of you. The criteria of the scholarship is as follows. We identify someone who has good academic standing, we identify someone who is in some kind of underserved need. We identify someone who has pursuits of college and an interest of active work in public and military service, as well as healthcare. And in that process, personal statements are completed, transcripts are submitted, interviews are conducted with a US congressman, physician, family member, and a future scholarship recipient. We want the recipients involved building and mentoring the next generation. So, on that note, it is my honor and my distinct pleasure to introduce two special guests for each of you. First, I'd like to introduce this kind party. This person is a junior at the institution. This person will be pursuing a career in law enforcement and politics. So please bring your kind hands together for the energetic and spirited Cadet Petty Officer of Third Class Resort, Kayla Oswald! in this way. It is my pleasure to introduce the next recipient. This individual is a senior at the institution. This party is pursuing a career in psychology as well as the Air Force. Bring it together for the humble, the gracious cadet, petty officer, second class. Sincere thoughts and thanks to our friends, 
Congressman Boss and Tracy, Senator Fowler and Jill, Representative Bryant and Rick. I'd like to give a heartfelt thanks to my team, Innovate Doctors Group, a special applause to Drs. Bilal and Nadine for all of their fierce dedication. I'd like to thank the Masons and all levels of the military all around the globe who have fought together from the beginning of human civilization to now when we need it the most. And I'd like to give a very blessed and humble moment of gratitude to Colonel Bobby Williams and Lieutenant Victor Caponte. Without these two distinguished leaders, we could not be here to celebrate your life. And I'm very grateful to them. So thank you, cadets, junior ROTC, centennials, and so many leaders in the community for all that you do each and every day. We're very humbled to have you. So thank you so much for having the Paladin Warrior Spirit. We wish you well. God bless you. So would it be. Namaste, as we say in my Indian culture. And love your struggle. Thank you.